-hmm. Glory to Jesus Christ. The we're reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and we are in part one, section two, that is part one is the profession of faith, section two, the profession of the Christian faith, the creeds. Paragraph five, heaven and earth. Roman numeral two, the visible world. And we're at numbers 341 through 344, found on page 88 in the second edition, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, published by Liberida, Libreria Editrice Vaticana, the Vatican publishing house and bookstore. Um, <coughs> in, in uh, 2016, in this, I'm using the 2019 reprint here. So page 88 and page 89. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. O heavenly King, comfort a spirit of truth who are everywhere present and filling all things. O treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, Grant that in the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation, through Christ our Lord. The beauty of the universe. It, oh, before I start, I should give the online information. So you can get the Catechism of the Catholic Church from www.usccb.org, that's the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops site, slash site, slash default, slash files, slash flipbook, slash Catechism of the Catholic Church, or www.vatican.va, Catechism of the Catholic Church, and go to English and go to the different sections there. Or you can get a PDF drive, or not only or, you can get an addition, from Catholic Culture, Catholic Culture, a free download ebook of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Beauty of the Universe. The order and harmony of, harmony of the created world results from the diversity of beings and from the relationships which exist among them. Man discovers them progressively as the laws of nature. They call forth the admiration of scholars. The beauty of creation reflects the infinite beauty of the creator and ought to inspire the respect and submission of man's intellect and will. And uh, the submission of the intellect isn't uh, dulling it down, it's sharpening it. So it doesn't stop questioning, it, but it gives an answer that you can't get otherwise the answer of God, which, again, keeps uh, uh, questions coming and, uh, and research and, and testing of nature and all that. And so the laws of nature, man discovers them progressively as the laws of nature. So going on that, to, uh, and again, this is through testing and uh, doing that. And the laws of nature are things that we cannot break without uh, severe repercussions. So, and the same is true on the human and moral level if we break natural law, which is the law of conscience, 
the law of objective moral truth, or the law of do to others as you would have them do to you, and the like. And uh, so that has uh, severe repercussions. Not because God is vindictive, because that's said in that. That's, that's, that's the, the human uh, reality. So in this, uh, in, uh, nature calls with the awe of scholars. So if you look at nature and you examine nature, uh, how can you not be filled with awe? When you examine it. The beauty of creation reflects the infinite beauty of the creator. So the, going back to its uncaused cause. Three, four, two, the hierarchy of creatures is expressed by the order of the six days. This is, again, in Genesis 1. From the less perfect to the more perfect. So it's the culmination of earthly creation is the human being. God loves all creatures and takes care of each one, even the sparrows. Nevertheless, Jesus says, you are of much more value than many sparrows, or again, of how much more value is a man than a sheep. Man is the summit of the Creator's work, as the inspired account expresses by clearly distinguishing the creation of man from that of other creatures. And this is now page 89. So, uh, yes, we are quote unquote speciesists. We uh, uphold the, uh, the protection of humanity above that of all other species. Yes, we we uh, share uh, with the other species and we're all interdependent, but uh, we're not just one species among another, among others. We're the, the culmination, which gives us responsibility rather than, should give us responsibility rather than arrogance towards towards the rest of creation, and especially towards each other. Because each, each one of us is a universe uh, in, in a great uh, wonder. So there is a solidarity among all creatures arising from the fact that all have the same creator and all are ordered to his glory. So this is what unites us not the, the fang and claw of, of, uh, of natural savagery, shall we say. And this is from uh, the Canticle of the Creatures ascribed to St. Francis of Assisi. May you be praised, O Lord, in all your creatures, especially Brother Sun, by whom you give us light for the day. He is beautiful, radiating great splendor and offering us a symbol of you, the Most High. But of course, we better wear sunglasses. That not part of his hymn there. May you be praised, my Lord, for Sister Water, who is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. May you be praised, my Lord, for Sister Earth, our mother, who bears and feeds us and produces the variety of fruits and dappled flowers and grasses. Praise and bless my Lord. Give thanks and serve him in all humility. So let's pray in all humility and in, in thanksgiving for the gift of creation and thanksgiving that we are part of creation and, and that humble uh, serenity that comes from accepting that we're not God but God is God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's push the finish button.